In this uh, tutorial video, AS400 tutorial video for the AS400 i series and IBM i, very quickly and easily, I'm going to show you how to create a library. Now, uh, briefly, if, if you're not familiar with the uh, file system on the 400, essentially everything is stored in libraries, uh, in objects called libraries. So, all of your programs are stored in libraries. All your data files are stored in libraries. Uh, every object uh, that's not a library is stored in a library. And essentially, without getting too technical, um, all of your libraries are stored at a root level. And you cannot store uh, libraries within other libraries. So you kind of have like this root level that contains all of your libraries. So that's how libraries work. So to create a library um, for, let's say if we want to do put our own, and we want a library for our own development, our, our own objects, it's usually a good idea to do that and create your own libraries um, for your programs and whatnot instead of using any of the IBM supplied libraries uh, like QGPL, QUs, or Sys, so on and so forth. So to create a library, pretty simple, create lib command, C-R-T-L-I-B. I'll prompt that with F4. And all you do is you just put in the library name. So in this case, I'll go ahead and put in John. Production or test doesn't mean a whole lot. Um, I usually just leave them at production. And then a description of what the library is. So uh, John's program library. Press Enter. And there we go. The library is created. If I want to look in the library, um, to do that, I can just do a display lib command. And then the library name, press enter. Here's my library. Obviously, I don't have any objects in it. So there you go. That's how you can uh, create libraries.